All right, so this is another example of how the SAT and PSAT take questions that are really simple and make them seem more complicated by adding a story. Basically, all we've got here is a graph and then a bunch of answer choices that are supposed to include points that we would see on that graph. So I don't care what this has to do with ocean water levels. That has nothing to do with anything. This, this is just them telling us what this graph means. But all I really care about is the fact that just like any graph, it has an X and a Y axis. So I'm looking to match the points on the uh, graph to the points in the chart. And I can see that all four of these answer choices start with a Y intercept where X is equal to zero. So that's an important point, whether they gave it to us or not. It's just an easy place to start thinking about things. It's usually an easy point to, to spot on the graph. So it's a good way to think about it. So I would just be like, okay, what is my y-intercept? I've got some options, negative 12 or zero. And if I go, the y-intercept is right here. It's where this parabola hits the uh, the y-axis, which is at the point zero, zero. So that gets rid of choice A, just like that, because that point is incorrect. Moving on, I'm like, okay, well, now the next point should do it for me because I've got three at 12, three negative 12, or 12, three. So I'm gonna go to the point three. Let's do that, right? So three is here between two and four, where it always is. And then we're going to just find that spot on the graph, right? So I don't, I don't care about all the other boxes. I only care where it intercepts the graph. So three, if I go down until I hit it, it clearly is at this negative 12. So this point right here is three, negative 12. I know it's a little hard to see there, but we don't need to see it there. We just need to see it in the graph or in the, uh, in the chart. So choice B has three positive 12. It's a common mistake. They know that sometimes we just think in terms of like the, the, the distance. So it's a distance of 12 boxes and we forget that there's a direction involved, right? The, the, the X, Y plane has direction. We can go positive or negative, both up and down and left and right. So don't make that mistake. It's especially important when we're reading a graph that we don't forget negatives, but there you go. Three 12 is the trap answer, but here, here's three negative 12. That's what we wanted. And then, I don't even know what to make of D, right? I can tell what they're doing. They're flipping the X and the Y. Hopefully you're not making that mistake. Even by eighth grade, you should be able to read a graph confidently with the X as the horizontal axis, right? And then Y as the vertical axis. So if you're making that mistake, you've got some practice to do. That should be as automatic as knowing the left and right hand, okay? So um, let's take a look at I guess the point 12, three, see if that's there. That would mean going all the way out to here where 12 is the X and then dropping our, our vision down. We see we don't even intersect the graph at all. If we intersect at, at three, that would be up here. We don't have that information. So I don't know what they're doing here. This is just us getting confused about X versus Y. So hopefully you don't make that mistake. And we could, we could verify choice C, the last part, if we wanted to, we don't need to. But yeah, six, zero, is that a point? Yes, right there, six, zero, because we can see that the parabola comes back up and hits at that spot. So hopefully Hopefully this all makes sense. Like I said, the most important thing here that you cannot under any circumstances get wrong is confusing your X and Y. It needs to be as automatic as left and right, which I realize, I don't know if this image is flipped and mirrored. So just know this is my left hand, whether it looks like it's on the left of the screen or not. I know my left and right in the same way I know my X and my Y. So I would never get stuff like this wrong. Be the same way.